Why do it yourself when robots do it better? If anything comes up, scream. Maybe I'll be around. Just go for the Yeah, good job, dude. Asadids, welcome to the first in a long, long series of videos that I'm going to be doing covering each and every single operator in Rainbow Six Siege. In depth, individual videos. Not a big one, with a whole bunch of them in the same one. The first one, obviously, on my favorite operator in the game, Lazy Bastard, colloquially known as Echo. Like all of my videos, it's broken down into sections to make it easy for you to navigate through. I try to get into the nitty gritty here, starting with the obvious, but then I go into specifics about the character's weapon choices and equipment choices, as well as examples of potential loadout combinations thereof. The idea behind these videos isn't necessarily to tell you exactly how to play, but to show you different ways that you can try on your own of playing a certain character. And of course you can see what works for you. I think the best way to learn things is through experimentation. Anyway, so Echo is a three armor, one speed operator that functions as an intel gatherer and an entrance denier. His unique gadget is a drone that can stun enemies. His loadout options allow him to play either more like a lurker or strictly on point defense, though playing him effectively usually encompasses doing a little bit of both. So to play him well, you're going to need to communicate well with your teammates by calling out enemy positions and get good at hiding yourself from enemies, but not by hiding yourself away too much, right? Because you won't be able to get crucial frags when the need arises. If you like playing Swish and Bait operators like Trap Queen or Big Smoke, you're really going to enjoy playing Echo. His unique gadget, the drone, with the power of four fidget spinners, can attach itself to the ceiling and then cloak after standing still for a couple seconds. It has three rounds of highly concentrated 100 proof liquor to drunkify enemies for a short window of time. When the enemies are in this state, it makes aiming and shooting very, very difficult, naturally, and basically turns them into big targets for your teammates or yourself. The drone is something unique to the defending side for Siege, and as such, like with Valkyrie, I think that playing Echo right requires you to communicate a lot. You can basically use it like an additional camera. Use good callouts, use the drone to scout for your teammates if they're not sure where an enemy is, stuff like that. Also keep in mind that you only get one though, and it's easily visible on the ground, and after it fires, it's alcohol shot. So the idea in my experience is to get really creative with it. If you fire a round successfully at an enemy, drop it down, move it to a different spot. The really good thing about this drone, though, is that it's a great entry denial tool. No one is going to try to push on an objective if they can't shoot anything, obviously. And more often than not, you can stall enemies and make it difficult for them to really make it advance in the first place, even if you don't outright kill them when they're stunned. Get as much usefulness out of this drone as you can, but be careful not to get wrapped up too much into it, as you might end up getting killed if you're not covering your flanks properly. With enough practice, you'll get into the flow of being able to transition from sitting in the drone to holding angles, getting frags, that kind of stuff. Fortunately for you, Echo has some really, really good, good weapon options. So let's talk about those. Good. Don't forget your gun. Echo has a pump shotgun and an SMG as primaries. The Supernova shotgun has high effective range and a big bite, more so in my experience than other pump shotties. You can do the usual sort of murder hole creation with this thing, and your teammates won't need to use their impacts to make holes and such. And it'll do it for him, because Echo's a team player after all. Oh shit, I didn't realize he was in that room. Whatever you want to chat about, I'm not interested. The Nova's just great. Very, very little to complain about with this thing. Maybe the cycling time, but the range on it is just too good for me to even care. Do you like pump shotties? Good. You'll like this thing then. Except for the iron sights. You won't like those, because they're not very good. Put on any other kind of sight. Hollow, reflex, red dot, whatever. Whatever works for you. I like the hollow personally. It seems a little bit higher raised than either the red dot or the reflex, and I think that makes it really useful for peeking around angles. For me though, sometimes taking my time to aim at people when they're too close to me is a bit of a hassle. And the laser sight helps me with that considerably. What? Just point and shoot when you got a good shot. Hip firing with shotguns I is relatively easy mind. anyway if you can get good at concealing the laser sight Why? to prevent your location from being exposed. You're Gucci. Every once in a while, you'll swear that you get this perfect sexy sexy shot on somebody and then it turns out you only brought them down to half health and then you get headshotted. Eh, welcome to Siege. It's a risky take with using a shotgun unfortunately. 
It's still very good though. The other primary weapon choice Echo has is an integrally silenced MP5. You do get all the benefits of a silencer, but you can also put an ACOG scope on this thing, which is something you don't get to do too often with submachine guns. You can't do the same kind of spawn kill salt mining as effectively as with Bandit because you're three armor and one speed. But if you spawn in a room with a window, oh, it'll work. Uh, Echo secondaries are also quite good. The Japanese Six Sour yeah, functions almost identically to the British here. one, but I like it more myself because of that sexy silver finish. High damage with a high capacity 12 round mag can't be beat. You know how to use pistols though, they're potent finishing weapons. Laser light with a silencer is a good choice. The only thing about the handgun though, is that it often gets overshadowed by the Bering 9 SMG secondary, which is basically a Japanese mini Uzi. It's got high kick, but very high DPM, so if the recoil doesn't net you an easy headshot on a target, you'll usually take out opponents with a quick burst. The default irons aren't too bad, but you're gonna want to put a sight on this thing. I like mine with the red dot, it's a nice clear sight picture. On the Bering 9, the hollow sight is just a little bit bulky, and the reflex not precise enough for me. Plus it's like, why'd they put it so far back on the gun? Here are some loadouts I found pretty useful with Echo that you can try out for yourself. Clearly, you're the smart ass. Okay, so Echo's most versatile loadout option consists of the Nova in combination with the bearing SMG and either the shield or razor wire. This is because I think the SMG rounds out Echo's mid and long range in effectiveness with the shotgun very well. In fact, during some rounds, I end up using the bearing more than I do the shotgun. The shotgun also allows Echo to do things like blow out walls to clear space between objectives or make murder holes, which is very, very useful, while the SMG still allows Echo to be an effective mid-range powerhouse. Another common option for Echo is the MP5 with an ACOG scope and a foregrip. This works pretty well in combination with either the pistol or the SMG, as the SMGs will basically fill in the same roles as backup weapons rather than the sole mid-range option. The MP5 with an ACOG scope allows Echo to peek at attackers the, uh, from windows, shoot. as well as hold angles at longer ranges. It's a solid choice if you like the MP5 ACOG combo with Rook or Doc. Just be careful yeah, where you lurk exactly. I recommend bringing the shield because it will keep you well protected nice. when you are away from the objective room. Right, that's a little bit problem. better. If you want, you can also run a purely point defense oriented loadout with Echo. One that emphasizes close range capability above all else. To do this, you can go with the Nova, obviously, but in combination with a pistol. I'm not saying you shouldn't bring an SMG. I'm just saying you could, in theory, use the pistol, because the disadvantage of lack of mid-range capabilities will be negated by the fact that you are playing point defense and you will be fighting in close quarters. So this is a loadout that I do for fun more than anything else, but it's still effective. Another really, really interesting choice for me that I have a lot of fun with is the MP5 with an angled grip and laser light with any kind of close range sight. You'll see me using the irons just because I really like the kind of Heckler and Kulf style iron sights, but it'll serve the same purpose and the MP5 is a rather potent weapon in and of itself, capable of killing enemies in a reasonable amount of time and the gun basically has no recoil. In short, Echo is a heavily defensive operator whose intel gathering and entry denial capabilities are very strong and can complement a team in just about any instance. If you already have like a really meta setup like Mute, Jaeger, Castle, etc., you got a roamer like Calf to cover your flanks, you're basically set. Run the shotgun and SMG for a versatile setup, or you can use the MP5 for more long range punch. End of transmission. So dudes, if you like the video, subscribe for more in this series. We'll be doing every op in the game. This is just episode one in the series. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, post a comment, tells YouTube that I'm doing my job right. What operator should I do next? Follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links to all of that are in the description. If you really, really like the direction that the content is going in, please consider a buck a month donation on Patreon to give me some coffee, or as I like to call it, editing fuel. I've also got the track used in this video on the screen, as well as a link to it in the description. I'll see you all in the next video. Stay frosty. Okay. Oh, there's the IKEA. You literally just held that on.